Every relationship that you build needs two things, to be built and to maintain. Since friendship is a type of relationship, yes, communication needs to be here, but there is a way to regulate this. On one hand, you have friendships that thrive off of day-to-day -day texting, but then you have other friendships where, you know what, maybe you don't text every day, but y'all are close, you know what it is, so how do we move from here? And taking it from both directions, I don't necessarily think that talking to somebody 24-7, 365 is the only way or is even a way where a friendship is solidified. You don't need to be the center of each other's universe by making sure that every day you're reaching out or saying something. But there is a difference between checking in periodically, continually, and then checking in once a year. It's really hard to maintain that friendship when there's no communication involved in some kind of way. And sending a message on the birthday or at the end of the year, and that's the only time you hear from them, isn't necessarily a friendship. It's more becoming like an acquaintance. Here's really what I want to give to you in terms of a perspective to see how strong communication really is for any relationship, but here, specifically friendships. So let's say we do carry the perspective that, hey, I don't have to talk to you to be friends. I don't have to carry conversation with you to be friends. Would that perspective really fly with the relationships you currently have, whether it's dating, even marital? Does that kind of communication really exist in that setting. And I don't know about you, but for me, I really find it hard to believe that that kind of mindset exists in those relationships because then you're probably looking for another person to date or you really have a mess on your hands with your spouse simply because you're not communicating with them as you should. Now we know that there are different levels to relationships. I'm not saying that your friendships are marriages or vice versa. But the point that I'm looking to make is that with this communication, it just makes life easier and allows the friendship and relationship to continue cultivating in some kind of way. But if there was no communication that took place, then there was no space for this relationship to even take off let alone be maintained. So with this idea, communication is what started the friendship. And since it started the friendship, it's what's needed to maintain the friendship. Again, we know that life gets in the way, life catches up, business needs to be handled, families are being started, jobs are getting hectic, bills need to be paid, and you just find yourself working and busy. And that's life for all of us. But if we're really going to water and be attentive to the friendships that we claim we're rocking with, then we need to be able to make some kind of time in the midst of that to just check in, send a message, say what's up, anything to where communication is somewhat relevant in that relationship. Any relationship, including friendships that you create, building and maintaining are the two most important things to see the friendship grow and to be able to get somewhere with purpose within the relationship. We were all created to have relationships with others in fact, relationships with others is what cultivates the purpose that was created in us to then walk out. But if we really want these relationships to be very effective, useful, and purpose-driven, communication has got to be a main key somewhere. Hey, listen, if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you'll know the next time we're posting. Hey, listen, your boy's got a new podcast. All right, spin them out to you every Tuesday and Thursday. Link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. And as always, until our next conversation, be easy and be breezy, my friend. Peace. Oh.